Hello, and welcome back to Scum. You're probably asking yourself, what in the hell is that yellow banana monstrosity behind me? Well, that's a pickup truck. And I actually just spent a whole episode getting this pickup truck going. And um, unfortunately, you're only going to be able to see little snippets of that. Because once in a while, my setup likes to get a little treacherous on me. Especially when I'm tired and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. So I recorded this whole episode getting the pickup truck um, with the wrong mic settings. So yeah, here's a little sample of what that sounds like and give you an idea of why I didn't use any of the footage. Alright, we have returned home with the dirt bike. Alright, so now what I want to do... Yeah, that, that sounds like crap, right? Yeah. Well... That's what happens when I don't use any noise cancellation or anything like that. That's that's what my mic sounds like raw. <laughs> uh, so if any of you are wondering, yeah, that's uh, that's the magic of editing and trickery there. So yeah, that really sucks. We lost a, a pretty much an entire episode. It was, it was an entire episode, which is kind of a bummer, but oh well. What can you do? You can't really... <laughs> you just gotta keep going, right? It's frustrating, but it happens. But, you'll notice on the map, the PvP zones have changed a little bit. Uh, they're up in this corner now, so that unlocked all of this. Not that we couldn't go there anyway, but it makes it a little less stressful. Uh, so, it's a big chunk of the map that's all open now, and that'll maybe that'll make people happy, I don't know. Whatever. I just like to change it once in a while. Keeps things fresh, keeps people on their toes, but hey, what we're doing today is um, continuing this. But in order to continue this, I need to go and get some tools. You can see there, uh, there's nothing in it. And that's because I need to gather supplies. I need to cut down trees. I need logs. I need planks. I need I need everything, really. We don't have, we don't have much. Uh, I spent that whole episode focusing on this truck, and we didn't really pay attention to much else. Uh, so I am starving, and I am tired. And uh, yeah, so wh what we're gonna do, very simple. We're gonna head down this big main road here, check out a couple towns, and my ultimate goal is gonna be the quarries. I wanna check each quarry. We are looking for tools. We need tools, we need building supplies, we need food, and I need a fuel can for this truck because uh, it's thirsty and it runs out. And it doesn't like to start. There we go. But man, having this thing, huge help. Really glad we got it going. And uh, yeah, it's gonna really open up a lot of locations for us. It's gonna make traveling around the map much easier. And um, basically use it as a mobile base. It has a ton of space to store things. The only trouble with it is it's got only one door. So I need a doors, I need a locks. I need all the things. But, uh, yeah, she goes anywhere. Big power, lots of storage. Jumps, berms. Can't really ask for much more. Uh, luckily, there's a lot of fuel stations around, so we should be able to keep it topped up, even though it is a thirsty beast. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go head down south, see what kind of stuff we can gather up, because we need to get building. I totally forgot that this truck has a driver's side door. I'll just take that. There we go. <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. We're going to piece it together as we go. Alright, here we go. Town number one, our first stop. Alright, hopefully we don't get got over freezing. Oh well, you're gonna have to get over it, son. It's not that cold, stop. Alright, we are looking for tools, parts, food. 
Very important. Uh, what do you guys think of the last video I did? About uh, what's wrong with scum and how we should fix it. I really do believe that. A lot of people think that uh, that there's some kind of technical reason that's stopping the devs from using the old puppet system uh, along with the new encounter system. And uh, now there's there's just no way. Uh, Unreal Engine's very very flexible, old, you know, well developed engine. And I just don't buy that. I don't buy that for a second that they can't use both systems at once. Ooh, shotgun shells. I really think they can, and um, for some reason they're just choosing not to. I really think they're more than capable of rolling back that that aspect of 0 0.95. I like everything else about it. But the puppets, they're really bad. And um, I don't know, I don't know why they're making such a big deal out of it to begin with, honestly, because, you know, mistakes happen. You you try new things, they don't work out. You try something else. It's just the way it, the way it goes. It's how it's always been. I really don't understand. And, and the defensiveness, they're not necessarily from the devs, but from, from other people. People are really defensive of this puppet, this puppet update, the ones that, uh, think it's all right anyway and uh, I just don't understand that the majority of people don't don't think it's all right <laughs> what's going on here this door is open peculiar but anyway I don't want to start I don't want to start a war about that but uh, it's really frustrating. Because the puppets, man, they used to be so good. And now they're super jank. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll eat our words. Maybe they're going to come out with a hot fix. There's a tool. It's going to blow our minds, man. Oh, that's good. This is good. We're getting good stuff here. Um, I don't, I don't need that. Actually, you know what? I am going to take that because uh, when we do the PD, that'll come in handy. All right, may as well offload real quick while we're right here. A lot of puppets in town. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there'll be a, a killer hotfix that just absolutely blows us all away. And uh, it makes the game fun again. I mean, the game's fun. I'm enjoying it. Like, they they did some good fixes recently and uh, made things run pretty well. I'm going to put that in there, too. Actually, let's do that. But uh, at the same time, it's still, it's still just not the same, is it? Like this guy. Where did he come from? Right? Where did you come from? You weren't here before. And there you are. Like magic. I hate to complain about scum. I really do, because it's my favorite game. I get mad with it, and I end, I take a break, and I, but I always end up coming back. Uh, I guess that's the good parts about scum are, are still enough to keep me coming back. But uh, I, I really hope the devs take uh, take everybody seriously when they say that they're they're frustrated, frustrated with the way things are going. There we go. All right, we got a Spitfire jacket. It's cool. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's all tore up, but eh, kind of goes. <laughs> kind of works, doesn't it? Actually, with everything. Looking kind of, kind of cool, man. It's kind of survivally. Very Last of Us. You know, I don't really feel like scum is so much broken as it is just kind of in a weird place right now. Like, uh, I still kind of feel like maybe getting some good food. It's 
good. I, st I still feel like maybe they're just kind of experimenting right now with this new system. I'm really hoping that's what it is, that it's actually intended for the armed NPCs and then that they'll revert it back for the puppets. It's probably wishful thinking, but I, I don't... I don't know, I just don't... Oh, hey, thermometer, that's cool. I don't feel like they meant for for this system to be for the puppets. It just doesn't make sense for them, right? It just doesn't make sense. But I've had to change my puppet settings yet again because uh, I, I tried to turn them up in the last episode and it really just didn't work. Uh, as you guys saw, there was... What was it? Three hordes in a row? In that little tiny village? It was really crazy. So I've put them back down to, like, vanilla settings, like regular settings. Hello, officer. See what I mean? Like, he wasn't there before. And, um, I've just turned them up to 0.2 more. Just a pinch over. Take those. And uh, we'll see how that works. So far, it seems all right. Um, at least I can kind of, like, sort of loot and piece a little bit more. Chicken. Don't really need the chicken. Although, I probably should hunt him. See if he sticks around. If we come across him, we'll grab him. I got a garage. Loot the store. Garlic. Got plenty of food now. That's good. Food has been a concern. Mostly because I just haven't been paying attention to it. <laughs> oh, a row of garages. Very nice. Okay. Um, yikes. wonder if I should pull the car up closer. It'd probably be all right. Nah, I'm going to pull the car up closer. What am I doing on arrows? Wow, not good. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. What? Did you watch that? Did you guys just see that go through his head? You saw that, right? That totally happened. All right, I gotta make more arrows. <laughs> I gotta pay better attention to what I'm doing. Or we're gonna get deaded. All right, we got a whole row of garages here. Oh, very nice. Um, I want that. That is very good. Very handy little, uh, little tool there. What's hose good for? I don't remember. We'll take it though. I think you put a, it's probably for the workbench, right? Another car jack. Where were you two days ago? Uh, it's the same as what we've got. See now? Got to find a bigger bag. An assault bag would be a good step up. Hiking bag would be best, but I don't see that happening. I think they're pretty rare now, as they should be. They really should be rare anyway. It's kind of like, well, it is the biggest bag in the game, so it just makes sense. Take that too. Now that we have the truck, we can actually take things. <laughs> it's kind of nice. All right, another PD. Uh, let's take our crowbar and open up some stuff here. Look, he's sleeping. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> There's a lot in there. Glad I didn't go in.
That was wild. This will probably cause a horde. <laughs> oh crap. Uh. <laughs> crap. Run away. Yep, it did too. Oh no. <laughs> oh crap. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. No problem. We're fine. It's perfectly acceptable. Just keep running. <laughs> That was pretty good. Be careful with those hordes, man. Wow. Okay. I think we're good. Force lock. This is very loud. See my noise meter there. Eh, it's not super loud. It was when I first started. All right, open sesame. Oh, nice. Lock 21. 357. Hey, I need a bunch more of that for my other gun. Right, I think we're still good. All right, let me watch the noise meter for when I first dig into this. See how loud it gets. Huh? No, it's about the same. All right, that's all of them. That is very time consuming, but it sure is nice when you don't have any lock picks. but it isn't always worth it, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's break into a couple more of these. Oh, crap. Ooh, I did not hear them coming. They just showed up. Oh, that's terrible. Bro. <sighs> it scared the crap out of me. Good lord. Listen, man. I'm just trying to get some stuff. Luckily, it goes a lot faster the second time. Ah, foiled again. Now let's check the second floor. Probably get through these two lockers as well. May as well. Ooh, I don't know if we're going to make it. safe we are here. Oh, they're coming. I think we're going to have to run. <sighs> I 
did break through the door, but he didn't come in. Oh, there's several there. Oh, just go. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. These guys are serious. man annoying but challenging this part of it is cool having to be careful being you know making sure you're not triggering hordes this part's cool I'm, I'm down with this all right let me just get through this last locker Huh. And I'm glad I did. Key card. Um, I don't know what I can do with that, but I'll take it. Oh, leash. Nice. Where's my bow? Oh, there it is. Right, those are checked. Oh, hunter. Cool. It's very good PD so far. And it better be, because we've had to run for our life twice. All right, I'm gonna loot these garages and then we gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, nice. It's like one of the main reasons we're here is fuel cans. I'd much rather a big one, but that'll work too. Right. Let's get out of here. All right, here we go. Now, I haven't been to the quarry since the update. I don't think. I'm pretty sure I have. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um, thinking we'll probably leave the car here. Speaking of car... Oh, I've made a bad mistake. Bad mistake. Oh, dear. Yep. This is, this is my life now. This is my life now. Oh. Oh, my word. Okay. Maybe I didn't see them. They, they could have been there all along. doing the handy dandy I don't know what that walk is oh for goodness sake <laughs> oh, it's crazy the puppet apocalypse is, is real right, there's another one up there let me close my door We're here for tools. We need tools. Uh, anybody working on this? Would appear so. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. Maybe they were on the other side of those blocks. I don't really know. But the reason we're here is for tools. I need saws. I need axes. Chainsaw would be cool. Uh, this is a pretty good place to find those kind of things. If you look in the right places. So, there's a big warehouse up there. That's probably pretty good. These stations probably not so much. There's a lot of different kinds of loot here. But uh, overall, it should be mostly industrial stuff. So we should do well here. Hoodie. Nice. Alright. It's a very 
well set up little quarry. It's very realistic. The devs did a very good job. I don't know if they used any kind of real world inspiration for it, but ah, the belt even sounds like it's made of rubber when you walk on it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah. I feel like I can't jump as far as I used to. I guess it's not that bad. All right, I think. Yeah, I probably should have driven the truck down here. Ah, well, let's just go. I think this is pretty much our best bet. The rest of it is kind of like offices and stuff like that. I mean, we'll we'll comb through some of it, but I'm not going to be able to hit everything. It would just take way too long. And there is, this is the northern quarry, and there is a southern quarry as well. But this one has a car garage and industrial buildings up there. So this is a really good place to come if you want a truck. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm not taking any more tire repair kits. They don't seem to work. Uh, that or I just don't know how they work. Uh, I've tried to, well, that's a full one. We'll try using a full one. I can't fit that, I'm not, that. I'm not, I can't be bothered. I've tried to use those several times and they don't seem to do anything. Uh, I think a toolbox would still repair a tire, but I could be wrong. But I do need to repair my tires on my truck. They're kind of messed up. <laughs> They're in like, one's at like 30%, which is not ideal. All right, there's not a lot going on so far. It's kind of concerning. This is how this goes though. Sometimes this game is such a grind. You can set the loot to certain percentages to get a better chance of finding stuff, but it, it still doesn't seem to be consistent. My mind's about four points below normal. Because, you know, I don't want it to be too easy. But sometimes that seems like too much, and sometimes it doesn't seem like enough at all. It's, it's hard to tell. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Where were you? So we got a battery, an alternator, and a wheel on this. So, pretty good truck for somebody. I think I need a passenger seat. I think I do. I think I'm going to take that. Yeah. I can always set it down if I need to go to my bow. And I hear a puppet up there, so I probably will. Alright, we're going to check this area out up here, because... I've actually found a chainsaw in this building before. Which is really cool. Alright, I heard a puppet. Where is he? Is he on the hill or is he down? He's down here. Hello! I uh, can't shoot? That's annoying. Come on. Come this way. Oh, did you figure it out? No. Started to figure it out, but then... I don't know, who knows. Oh, okay. She's killed herself. Well done, stupid. You know, you had a, you had a real chance there. You had the high ground and everything. You really could have made something of yourself. Now look at you. I feel like somebody's been here recently. And they just have really good door closing etiquette. Because there's nothing here. Maybe? Maybe? Nah. Ain't gonna happen. Good stuff in here. Good stuff. Always. Never lets me down. Ooh. Cold cayenne paint. Cyan? Cayenne. I call it cayenne. I know that's a pepper, but it's a color too, okay? Oh, perfect. This is the, this is the stuff we're looking for right here. Very, very good. Exactly what we're here for. I uh, hope there's more than just that one little bitty axe, but, you know, it's back 
tobacco seeds. Do I want those wire cutters? Now nah, I've got a pair. I picked a pair up already. Oh, good. Things are starting to go our way. Okay. Come on. Let's keep the streak going. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. That's right. If we go bust here, we've also got the southern quarry. And there are some other buildings here, too. I think this... I think this portion here is more like an office. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's gonna be just like office type stuff up here. Bathrooms. Oh, here's a storage room. Nothing in it though. Yeah, bathrooms. Remember the puppets always used to spawn in here? Ah, oh, the good old days. Quiet. All right, so far it's looking like we're only going to get the axe. Which is not a big deal, but... Uh, I was hoping for at least a saw. Oh, box of nails. Very nice. All right, is this... This might be... That's the same sort of building there, isn't it? But it needs to have this building attached to it. Which I don't believe it does. No, it doesn't. And neither does the one over there. I don't know. It's so confusing. Yeah, neither does that one. All right. So that's it for workshops and such. I do believe. Just take another quick peek. Yep, so it's just an office. Each one of these, like, processing plants has, like, sort of an office above it. And they're actually fairly good for some things, but I'm going to skip them for now. We're here for very specific stuff. Mainly crafting and tools. Going to load up on some scrap metal while I have the opportunity. There's a bunch of wrecks here. I wonder if this has scrap in it. No. No, it doesn't. Cool. That's a good, a good amount of scrap metal there. Very nice. There is a World War II bunker up there, a small one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go for now. I've had horrendous luck at World War II bunkers. I mean, absolutely horrendous. <laughs> like, no point in doing them horrendous. But, uh, well, it, that will be different on different servers, so. Don't take, uh, don't take my server for any kind of indication of how loot is. Because it's, yeah. <laughs> it's not like other servers. All right. All right, that's everything we got loaded up. We're doing really good so far. <laughs> We've got almost a truckload. Well, maybe not. Okay, I forgot. Never mind. Forgot how much this truck holds. It's pretty crazy. But we got a lot of stuff. Come on, boys. Start. All right. Okay, now let's go loot the southern quarry. All right, let's just sit in our car for a second. I think we're good. Don't want uh, any crowds running at us for our autograph again. That was terrifying. I don't do good with crowds. Okay, arrow check. Doing good. 16. All right, come on, Corey. Speak good to us. You know, we're, we're, we're always hitting you up. Nice. Uh, I don't really need that, but I'm going to take it because I have tons of space and I can do that now. And same with that. And same with that. These quarries are very good for loot. Very, very good. Lots of people come here. It's 
specific types of loot. Clothing, tools, vehicle parts, it's all here. The only thing that I'm not sure of, or at least I can't remember, is military. Don't think there's much for guns and such here. Which is fine, I'm not opening that gate again, that's freaking annoying. It takes 200 years to open, <laughs> and it's really loud. See, I gotta re- I gotta relearn all this, all this stuff. Oh, another crowbar. Oh, I'm gonna take the metal pipe. Um, how big is the pipe? Holy crap. Take the metal pipe, uh, because I can use that to make a scope and other things. It's useful for a couple different crafting recipes. But if we end up getting a long-range weapon, we can make a rail and a scope. I have a decent sniper. The scope on that thing is not, it's not great. It's like a nail. <laughs> use a nail for the reticle. It reminds me of the pipe guns in Fallout. Um, I don't need either of those. Uh, those could have just as easily been a saw. Thank you. All right, come on, workshop. Ah, uh, motorcycle mask. That's kind of neat. Take that. Wonder if that has any kind of damage protection. Let's equip it. How do we look? Do we look like a cheap knockoff of Bane? No. <laughs> we just look like a serial killer. Ah, there's something wrong with... Well, never mind the bow thing. That's always been a thing. But there's like... Yeah, there's something wrong with steps. Maybe it's just this building. Uh, I may as well take that alcohol. Can't have too much. I wonder what happened if you drank that. I wonder if it treated it like, uh, like a beer or something. Are those worth taking? I don't remember. I don't think they are. I think I used to play on a server that if you sold those, they were worth quite a bit. But I don't think that's the case. I think that was a special server setting. Oh crap, another car. There's cars everywhere. Right, uh, we're not going to go in there. Let's go in this one. I think there's a small chance of military loot in these. Like I said, I did find NVGs in one of these ones. Crowbar. Ah. Frigidator. Oh, padlocks too. You can get padlocks in here. I really should have checked the other one now that I'm thinking of it. Hindsight. All right, let's see. What else we got? We got a little warehouse there. Got some cars. And I think it's going to about do it. There's not much going on over there, even though it looks like it. Cool. This looks like another big warehouse, actually. I think, maybe, possibly. Did not notice. Didn't look like it from afar. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's just like the other side. Cool. Alright, so this is another really good chance for industrial stuff. Make sure we keep stacking those. All right. Uh, 
Uh, nothing really in here. Oh. Yes. Oh, by the way. <laughs> ah, we look ridiculous. I love it. But no, seriously, that's awesome. That is my hat. That is my hat. Bam. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Love the slouch hat. It completes us, man. It completes us. All right, come on. Just one saw. <laughs> Just one saw, man. That's all I want. Nothing, or is it another building? Kind of looks like something up here. How do you get up there, though? Ah, stairs, of course. Don't tell me I missed a bunch of stuff at the other quarry. Probably did. Look at all this. I bet you this is in the other building, too. Listen, you guys, I've been out I've been out of the game for a while. Okay, I forgot. It's my excuse. I'm using it. Oh, 100% hiking boots. And they're brown, too, which is better than green. Where'd those go? Anyway, those are less than 70. Uh, now I'm going to drop them. I'm not going to start hoarding silly things. Soap, need soap. Didn't pick it up. Soap is always good. I got a lot of clothes that are going to need to be cleaned. Especially after the PD. Alright, cool. Aha, king of the hill. Alright, I think that's it. Go in there, check that out. I think we're out of here. I wonder if I can make that jump. No, don't do it. Don't do stupid things. Just do sort of stupid things. <laughs> ah, get... And then get stuck and murdered. All right, what is this? Like, uh, I think this is like the control station, right? Yeah. Kind of. There's no equipment in here, but I think that's the idea. Ice. Dude, that's so good. That's really helpful. We now have a locked vehicle. Told you, good for locks. Good place to come for locks. All right, I think... I don't think there's anything back there except rocks. I think that's it. I think we've finished the quarries. All right, so we got the lock on the truck. Gonna put all this stuff in here. We got a lot of good stuff today. I did get everything I wanted. Um, the small ax is good, it's a good start, but I really would like to get a, at least a couple saws before we really start base building. Cause um, you, you, know, you can use the stone ax and stuff just fine to cut down trees, but it, they wear out faster, it takes a lot longer. Like, I think that's fairly new too. Like processing the wood and everything, the the timer is a lot longer now. Of course I could, some of that could just be my skill, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, we gotta get more stuff though. Yeah, our engineering is only 10%. So that's probably not helping, but I wanna get more stuff. Like I said, at least two saws, a couple more axes. And I think we'll be good. I think we will be all set. But anyway, that's the quarry all wrapped up. And I think we're going to have to wrap up the video here too, because we've been going for quite a while. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the series as always. I think next time we are going to go to... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We might come down here. In fact, there's a really good chance we will. Because this area... This is where I think it is, right? Yeah, this is the strip along here with all those warehouses, little warehouses, all lines. It was like a half dozen of them, and they're full of tools and stuff like that. And there's a bunch of military, too. And we haven't been there since the update, so it might be deadly, but I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, that's what we're going to do next time, I think, because I really want to get my tools. we got to bang them out. But uh, 
yeah, that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this series, and we'll see you in the next one.